We're looking here at a, a typical strip tillage drill. That's uh, a, a drill that's intending to, to cultivate a zone into which we place the seed. So we've got a leading, quite a narrow tine intended to do a degree of soil shattering and soil, soil fissuring to give ourselves some, some vertical fissures down through the profile. We place the seed then on top of that or around, in, and, in and around that fissured zone. In this case we've got a sweep type point so we're going to introduce seed both sides of the shattered zone so that allows then the, the roots of the crop to grow down into that structured soil area. That's followed then by a, a levelling batter board there to, to, to basically level the soil out and uh, take away any, any um, sideways or, or, or soil movement and leave a, a level finish for subsequent Cambridge rolling uh, to finish the job off. So as opposed to conventionally drilling the whole field we're now cultivating a strip and we can go reasonable de depth with the, with the cultivation, with the structuring and then drilling into that strip zone, hence the term strip till drill. There's obviously more soil movement with this than there would be with a disc based uh, opener drill, low disturbance opener drill, um, but what we're intending to do is, is not cultivate the entire field but just the strips into which we're, we're placing the seed. So it's important with these machines to make sure that the, the tine itself is doing a, a positive job of structuring and leaving vertical fissures and not cutting slots and that's really dependent on the level of soil moisture, the depth you work, the speed you're going and the, the amount of wear on the leading tine. So all of that wants to be taken into account to ensure we've got a fissured uh, profile into which the, the crop can then root. But basically that would be a, a classic example of a strip-till type system.